it is my pleasure um, to be part of this panel today and to talk to you about um, the impact of COVID on rule of law in institutions of justice, and particularly to share with you um, our experiences of uh, fighting corruption um, during COVID pandemic um, in Afghanistan. Uh, but before that, let me thank IDLO for organizing this panel um, and having us um, share our experiences uh, from different parts of the world. Um, and also thank IDLO for their decades of support um, to Afghanistan and particularly to the justice sector. Um, and in particular, um, their support um, to the justice sector, particularly at the time of um, COVID uh, pandemic. Um, uh, this, this has been a great partnership and we look forward um, to this partnership in the years to um, come. In developing societies, um, where building and maintaining rule of law is already a challenge, the implications of COVID-19 uh, are more severe um, and may continue uh, for much longer. Uh, the current crisis requires us to look um, to a longer, to a broader range of pathways to respond um, to this crisis. Uh, since the COVID-19 pandemic began, uh, reports of corruption and misuse of funds uh, surged globally. The crisis created by COVID brought along a host of legal challenges, um, inspection, investigation, um, courts and other legal services across the world had to close or minimize their um, operations. Countries that already suffered from um, corruption um, had dual crisis, both the pandemic and um, the uh, corruption. COVID crisis must not compromise standards of accountability and transparency. While the second wave of COVID-19 seems inevitable, it is critical to continue a strong stance against corrupt practices. Government pandemic response plans and policies must include measures for anti-corruption and integrity.